Hello, welcome back to the Thermophysics Laboratory at Imperial College London. I'm Martin Trussler, and in this short video I'm going to show you our laboratory distillation column in action, separating a mixture of methanol and water. Here's the apparatus I showed you in the previous video. We have the reboiler at the bottom, the silvered column containing 10 sieve plates in the middle, and a water-cooled reflux condenser at the top. The reboiler has been filled with a mixture of water and just a small amount of methanol and the column is operating under conditions of total reflux. Now the system has been operating for some time and is at a steady state. We can read the reboiler temperature, labelled T1 on the panel here, and also the temperature of the vapour leaving the top of the column, labelled T2. Measurements of this type can be used to determine the overall column efficiency by comparing our still, comprising reboiler and 10 sieve plates, with the number of theoretical equilibrium stages that would be required to achieve the same distillate composition given the same bottomed composition. From the measured temperatures and the temperature composition graph for methanol plus water, seen here, we can read off the approximate compositions of the liquid in the reboiler and the vapour leaving the top of the column. The temperatures were 98 degrees C in the reboiler and 66 degrees C at the top of the column, and so we find that Xb equals 0.02 for the mole fraction of methanol in the liquid in the reboiler, and Yd equals 0.97 for the mole fraction of methanol in the vapour leaving the top of the column. The latter is equal to the distillate composition Xd because we have a total condenser. More accurate compositions could be obtained by taking samples and analysing them, for example by gas chromatography. Here we see the McCabe Thiel construction for conditions of total reflux with the measured bottoms and distillate compositions. A total of six equilibrium stages are required, that is, five stages in addition to an equilibrium reboiler. So comparing this theoretical situation with the experiment, we see that our still was operating with an overall column efficiency of approximately 50%. So that brings us to the end of this short video. Thank you for watching.